In Ayurveda, they say you cannot have a clean body without a clean mouth, free of disease and toxicity. So we're going to be talking about the top 10 sources of chronic inflammation and toxicity in the mouth. I have an interesting presentation. I'm looking forward to your questions. I always get a lot of good questions after I present this. Uh, and we're going to, I'm going to share the screen with you now. But we're going to look at um, basically, um, and, and this is especially poignant after the, uh, the pandemic that we have come through, still coming through, and that the states of health or disease are really the expressions of the success or failure uh, by us, the organism, in, its, in our efforts to respond adaptively, respond adaptively to environmental challenges. And we really can't do that if there is toxicity and inflammation in your mouth. Um, I often like to say the, you know, the 800 pound gorilla in the wellness room is, um, is oral health. You, you really literally cannot be talking about detoxing, um, diet and nutrition and all these other things without really addressing um, that 800 pound gorilla. Um, all right, let's see. We are, um, you know, conventionally in dentistry, 150 years ago, they unplugged dentistry from medicine. It was one of the most illogical moves. Uh, many places in Europe and Switzerland, if you would study to become a dentist, you, you basically start in medical school, and then it is a subspecialty. So this was very unnatural to me. That's my bitmoji on the lower right. <laughs> and... Um, I became very fascinated with the work of Dr. Weston Price, a dentist. Um, he wrote a seminal work called Nutrition and Physical Degeneration in 1939. But prior to that, and I really refer to Dr. Price as the father of the Mouth Body Connection, the book that I, that I uh, wrote uh, a few years ago. But in 1917, he was speaking about the knowledge of our relationship of mouth infection to systemic disease um, to a fledgling American Dental Association um, uh, meeting in St. Louis, and it was um, scoffed at. Uh, they did not believe uh, that what goes on in your mouth has profound effects on what's going on in the body. So my book, uh, The Mouth Body Connection, was really looking at the mouth as a mirror and gateway for disease and, and toxicity in the body. And indeed the mouth is a mirror and all of these conditions on the left side of your screen have manifestations in the mouth, including leukemia and, and uh, diabetes and, and, and uh, tuberculosis, uh, all of these HIV AIDS. Um, I went into practice in the early 1980s and it was really surprising the oral manifestations of HIV and AIDS uh, that were clear signs in the mouth. Uh, Chinese medicine has traditionally looked at your tongue as, as a vital diagnostic tool. Everything from even psoriasis skin disorder to you know, vitamin deficiencies and um, fungal infections like candida and all that have manifestations on the tongue. Uh, we one of the most fascinating um, uh, uh, things that I discovered in, in my study of biologic medicine was this connection of each tooth to an organ system in the body through uh, pathways, uh, acupuncture meridians, and we have a, an entire chart. And I, I have removed infected root canals on molars and have seen uh, a patient, for example, um, taking out, I had an infected root canal on tooth number 19. You see that on the lower right. And she had a tumor that was taking up two thirds of her lung. That tumor spontaneously uh, resorbed. Our bodies have this amazing ability to self-regulate and heal. And, and our bodies want to heal. We have this life force that gives us this divine capacity to heal. When we understand blockages in, in, in not only energetic pathways, but um, we have 
um, biologic um, meridians, um, biochemical pathways, even psycho-emotional uh, issues and spiritual disconnect, which is often not talked about in medicine. So the tooth organ relationship was an eye opener for me uh, 25, 30 years ago. And, and I routinely refer to it. And I often ask patients who have, for example, root canals uh, um, on upper molars, upper posterior molars, and asking if they're experiencing any problem with thyroid dysregulation or breast issues, um, even breast cancer. So we know the mouth is um, especially a gateway to heart disease, respiratory problems, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and lots of different types of cancer. Um, the mouth is an inflammatory pathway. As a matter of fact, it's the body's number one source of chronic low-grade inflammation. 